Today we also celebrate the uh, the Trinity: God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we'll see in this in this text today, and in our in our learning from Proverbs, that that God works in that way as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to bring wisdom. I'm going to touch upon a typical case of indoctrination regarding the Trinity. People say that the Trinity uh, is God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, just like what many pastors say. However, we got to ask where that's coming from. Because we have to be really, really Berean about these sort of things. In 1 John 5, 7, it's clearly written, there are three, and mentioning clearly about the Trinity, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Yet, typically what they indoctrinate is that the Father, Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, I can understand that they equate the Word, with the Son. However, when you do so, it's not really, you know, really explaining the Godhead. And also, you're omitting uh, God, the Word, the, that, that very part. Uh, for example, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Okay, it clearly says the Word was God. So if you are going to omit the Word, then we are not really 100% fulfilling so-called the Trinity. Okay, uh, strictly speaking, uh, the Son is actually the Word made flesh. Like in verse 14, and the Word was made flesh. Okay? And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. So, when we actually and strictly want to talk about Trinity. The Trinity is actually the Father, the Word, and Holy Ghost, as is clearly written in the Scripture. Um, the reason being is that if you uh, look at 1 John 5, 6, it mentions about the Spirit. Right? What is God? God is a Spirit. And that very Spirit is actually composed of the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Just to say and replace the word with the Son, it will, it will not be 100% correct because the Son is actually Jesus and Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh. And the flesh is not the same as in a spirit, like the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these are one, obviously, and, and these, uh, this one God is actually composed of these three invisible and spiritual matter, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. So uh, I understand that many pastors are indoctrinated with the Son instead of the Word, but you know it's not really 100% correct because when you replace the word with the sun, you're actually, you know, putting uh, flesh in part of where the spirit is. Um, so, to be accurate and to say what the Trinity is and what God is, that God is the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, right? And these three are one, and this one God is the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And when you say the Father, uh, God is the Father, 
the Son and the Holy Ghost, uh, it's not really complete, is it? Because the Son is God manifest in the flesh. I hope that you know you know that fine distinction because it is due to indoctrination. Uh, it is not because you are being Berean about it, because you are taught from someone teaching this so-called Trinity, saying that God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, when the Scripture clearly says God is the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Thank you for listening. God bless you, and have a good one. Bye for now.